it should be a patient who has tried and failed with a course of maximum medical therapy, and what that will be is, is again, a matter of debate, um, who has ongoing symptoms despite good compliance with a trial of medical therapy. And we've recently taken some work using a RAND process, which is considering a number of different scenarios and deciding whether we feel that surgery would be appropriate, and a panel of experts using that to define consensus. And with that, what we were able to suggest that a good candidate for surgery would be someone that's failed maximum medical therapy, that has evidence of sinus disease on their CT scan to confirm the diagnosis, has ongoing symptoms with a SNOT22 score in the region of about 20 points or more, um, and, has fa you know, and has failed the medical therapy, and they're likely to be good candidates. I think a suitable patient for surgery is a patient who one is confident of the diagnosis and in whom one has already tried to use uh, a reasonable range of medical options. Uh, we used to talk about maximal medical therapy, but it's difficult to define that. I think we have to say that there has to be a trial of appropriate medical therapy. And if the patient fails and they are suitable for a general anaesthetic and are willing to consider surgery, they, they certainly could be a suitable patient.